Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on in this tarot reading today. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and I pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, try to steal from you. It's being returned to you. It is returned to you. Okay? All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled against you. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So we have someone that may be worried about another energy having some type of brand new beginning uh, with someone that they are interested in. You could have like a king of wands. Either this person, what I'm getting is that this is not a genuine interaction someone wants to have with you. It's that someone has been sending you options that are not really meant for you. They are supposed to come into your life and keep you stuck. So every love offer that you are being presented with, there's some type of ulterior motive behind it. And people didn't expect you to know this or be aware of it. Someone may be wearing some type of disguise they've been using for a long time and they did not expect you to unmask them, but you have unmasked this person. So the fact that they know that you are aware of the plot or the scheme they were trying to pull off is a little bit embarrassing for them. So what the new plan is now is for them to send in some type of king of wands or possibly a king of pentacles. These are the two options. Now, these two may be in competition with who can come in and deceive you. Either way you go, neither of these options are fit for you. They are meant to come in to distract you and block you from having your new beginning. This is what I'm receiving. So this King of Wands here has a lot of burdens and setbacks he's going through behind the scenes, right? Someone is worried a lot. This could be someone you're familiar with, someone from a, uh, maybe a past life but because that was about to come out. Or this could be someone that you were acquainted with in the past, right? And they are worried as well. Someone may be worried about this person coming into your energy, into your space, and not being able to deceive you. With this coming out, this is not going to be happening. They're not going to be able to deceive you because you already know what these people are up to. Both masculines. There's a king of pentacles in here that is very accustomed to presenting himself in a certain way. And no one has ever really been able to see the truth about this man, but he's exposed out here. He thought he was going to come in and deceive you, right? trick you into believing that he was there to support you he didn't know what was going on he wants to have a brand new beginning with you have a family with you um no this man has been working with this family this crazy family behind the scenes he's just as part of whatever this shenanigans is as anyone else as this king of wands everybody knows okay so this man coming into your energy just to present you with some type of offer is just another way to kind of smooth things over someone may even be on their last leg like maybe they even want to have a family but they don't know if you want to have a family with them and the reason why they want to have a family with you is not a legit reason there's a whole lot of fighting going on behind the scenes about someone giving you an opportunity i don't know if it's either of these masculines there could be someone else behind the scenes that's interested in working with you or being with you and this family is fighting i'm telling you they're fighting because they want this offer to go to someone else they don't want you to receive the offer they don't want you elevating it's that people have done something behind the scenes to block you from receiving any type of growth any type of acceleration in life they don't want you ex excelling in life right but that's not how it's meant to be you're someone who's a manifester so regardless of what these people are doing you're still going to manifest the reality that you want the lifestyle that you want you're still going to fulfill your dreams your goals your aspirations and things like that because you're showing up here in a manifester's energy right so you're someone gifted 
people could be doing things behind the scenes to kind of saffing your energy. Um, they may be realizing that it's not something that's working. It never was going to work because you also have the fool's energy, which means that your approach to new things in life, even old things, is to be open-minded right so you're not approaching things with fear anxiety and things like that you just kind of let things flow and this is how we are encouraged to be in life is to let things just kind of happen let go of trying to control things this is the mindset of the of the fool is to kind of just life be good to let life be right be open-minded be adventurous right connect to source stay in connection with source and trust the universe to guide you to support you on your adventures whether new or old or something you are redeeming um you're supposed to be open-minded not trying to confine things to make them go in your favor because they never really do go in your favor in the long run it may go in your favor in the short term but after a while you'll notice that things kind of start to kind of uh, fall apart things will start being dismantled around you absolutely things will start being dismantled around you so the universe's message to you right now is to let go of trying to control something to go in your favor because it's not going to go in your favor with you trying to control the narrative you trying to control the direction of how things go or how things turn out just let it go but someone is absolutely burdened behind the scenes someone is burdened about both of these masculines and these masculines are burdened as well but someone behind the scenes is burdened about either masculines coming in your energy this is something a plot by a toxic couple i don't get a good vibe from either of these masculines coming into your energy it seems like they're coming in to kind of trip you up is what i'm getting okay yeah so you are being advised to be vigilant about both of these masculines these are two really horrible offers this is like someone coming into your energy pretending like they genuinely care about you they want to build a family with you something of that nature but just a little bit into the relationship let's say maybe within three months things are going to fall apart because they never had true intentions for you right so the truth is going to come out pretty quickly and you'll find out why either of them were interested in collaborating with you it was the whole time to just kind of block your forward movement not wanting you to be abundant right they are coming yeah they, they didn't want you to be abundant this is your energy they don't want you to be in this energy they want to flip your life upside down where you are always living in fear they may even want you to stay single so these masculines coming into your energy one could be coming to maybe even get you pregnant or something like that and then just abandon you but i'm not getting a good energy this is like someone coming into your life pretending to be a higher level soulmate just to discard you not too long after that so you can be listen i said higher level soulmate i split the deck and then this comes out someone is coming into your energy to pretend to be a higher level soulmate just so they can discard you a short short time later and then you have to start your life over this is what they want to keep doing until you get to a point where maybe getting married is not an option anymore uh being in a committed relationship is not an option anymore they are basically trying to stagnate you block your forward movement they don't want you out here with the fool's mentality that life is full of uh, possibilities and things like that they don't want you being hopeful uh, you are going to need to ask your ancestors the universe your angels to keep out of your energy anyone with, that does not have pure intentions for you Something keeps telling me that this King of Pentacles is a shame because you see him for who he is. Someone is very much exposed, right? And whatever he was wanting to do to you is something that was calculated. He may have done this before or someone mentor or groom this person to do what it is they are intending to do to you. And the fact that they know you are aware is embarrassing to them because this is someone who is of a bit of a mature character in age. So this is not something you will be uh, expecting them to participate in, but they do. Someone who have been paid heavily or heftily behind the scenes to do something. Um, and it looks like they're not going to be successful in it. So it's something that is quite a burden. So they're worried that someone is going to give you a better offer. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> There's someone else behind the scenes. These people may not even be aware of that the, the source the divine 
has destined to give you an offer that is actually genuine. And these people are fighting amongst themselves because they're realizing all of the actions they took against you did not reap any type of benefit from them. Some of them may have even lost money. They are worried a lot. They're, some, they, these people are worried because you're not trapped anymore. And they're trapped in something they cannot get out of. They may have been working with a toxic couple. Someone may have paid a, a toxic couple or someone very dark, a hefty amount of money to do something to you, block your forward movement, block your business, block your work, block anyone from making an offer to you. If you were supposed to receive an Ace of Pentacles offer, someone may have done something to block that from coming to you as well, but it's not turning out in their favor. Someone has lost quite a lot. They're going through a lot as well behind the scenes, hiding their emotions. People may not know that someone may even be filing for bankruptcy. Someone may be going through a divorce. It's a whole lot going on behind the scenes, but for some reason, these people are still focused on you. Someone has been told that they do need to put down their sword. This is not going on, going in their favor. Listen, I said put down their swords and the Ten of Swords comes out. Someone is down and out. And this is all because of what they choose to do to you. You did nothing to someone. But someone may have told a lie or have some type of superiority complex that's just not fitting for them. And they took something personal or made something personal. And they went to an extensive length to cause you an ending. But in the end, they are, they are really the one that's down and out. Someone has lost quite a lot. There's also... Excuse me. There's also a masculine in here that's experiencing some type of loss because he took the wrong advice from someone. There could be a feminine energy going through the same thing. I wouldn't be surprised if it is the, this ten, uh, King of Pentacles. Listen, this ten of, ten of Swords is coming back out on the bottom again. Someone is absolutely down. All right, some, someone is down. I don't know if they'll be able to recover from what's going on. As you are putting an end to a chapter, their nightmare is just beginning. Um, and they're going to have to be strong throughout this experience because whatever these people were trying to do to you, it was something that was supposed to have you flat out, like possibly out of here, right? So you, I'm telling you, someone filed for bankruptcy or is going through some type of ending, they won't be able to recover from. This could be why this king of wands is worried because his finance, finances are in shambles right now. Someone could have been doing really well before all of this started, but because they partook in something, they didn't realize how hard it was going to affect them all overall. Now they're stuck in something they cannot get out of. There's an institution or a business that may be experiencing some type of loss. Uh, some businesses may be getting shut down, and this is all because they came from you. They stole from you, blocked something from you, caused some type of stagnation to you. I'm telling you, they're going through some type of ending. And while they're going through this, your life is just beginning. I'm telling you, like source has stepped in, ancestors have stepped in, angels have stepped in to bring balance into this situation. Something is being looked over. Something may have been stolen from some of you and it is being looked over. Something is being looked into, like the details are being looked into so that things can be balanced out. And until things are balanced out, these people are going to keep going through these endings. Okay. There's a friend, friendship group that's being looked into as well they've been doing something malicious behind the scenes and they are being exposed people are seeing the truth about them i'm telling you exposed they are being exposed for exactly who they are and who was orchestrating all of this from behind the scenes this could be a feminine energy that was that was orchestrating everything behind the scenes i said something about this king of pentacles right he is experiencing some type of financial loss. Someone is having to pinch pennies right now. He could be doing he could be someone that was well off, right? Um, so maybe he had a lot of money before where he was able to splurge. He could go out whenever he wanted to, take trips and things like that, or just do whatever he wanted to. If he wanted to go get a new car, he was able to do that, get a new apartment, just buy a lot of fancy and expensive things. Someone is not able to do that anymore. He has to be careful with how he 
utilizes his finances now because he invested in something that's just not turning out in his favor so he's having to pinch penny pennies his financial security is just not there anymore the future is looking insecure and bleak for him this man has came out in my reading before where i was talking about how a king of pentacles thinks that because he has a good amount of money in his savings that he's going to be a okay until something blows over it's not things are going to get worse for this man okay because there is something to interfere with your abundance your inheritance your forward movement that's why they are going through all of this someone thought he was going to move forward come in trick you have some type of family with you or he was just going to move forward and have some type of la vita loca experience um build a new family or build some type of empire in business or whatever this was and it's just not happening okay Somebody here may be stuck in some type of unhappy marriage, unhappy relationship. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It can just be something where he's unfulfilled, he's not happy, he's trapped in there, um, and he's barely holding on. Someone may be losing their mind because they're sick and tired of being around a specific energy. I'm telling you, this man thought he was going to have a brand new beginning. It's a no from source. It's that you are being held accountable for every action you took, right? Every action you took against another energy that you knowingly took action against while understanding that they did nothing to you and did not deserve what you were doing to them. This is why everyone is being held accountable for their actions, for their part that they play in this story. Okay, and people thought they were going to get away with it. This is like a group of people coming together. I'm telling you. This is a group of people coming together trying to destroy one person all because either they don't like you, they don't want you to be fruitful, they're jealous, or they have a problem with your belief system. Meanwhile, they're the dark ones and they don't understand that they're the ones who are the problems. So if you're like someone who's spiritual, for example, like myself, and people have a problem with your belief system, it's like, oh, you believe in astrology, you believe in divination, you do divination, things like that. They have a problem with that. Some of these people come from religious backgrounds, but they're false believers. They're not in the upright. So because they have a problem with you, even though they're the hypocrites themselves, they've made it their mission to destroy you. These are people that are saying, oh, you know, there's no other God before Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ does not support the types of behaviors these people are carrying out. True Christianity does not come out judging people. It doesn't say, oh, because you are a spiritualist and I'm a Catholic we can be friends. We can tolerate one another. That's not what religion is about. These are people that possibly some of them even went to school to be bishops, priests, pastors, uh, ordained ministers and things like that. But their mindset is so toxic. And because this mindset that they have has been enabled for so long, they believe that they are in the right when in reality they are not. True religious people are supposed to be non-judgmental. They are supposed to be open-minded to the rest of the world. But people that have some type of clouded judgment and don't fully understand the practices that they are indulging in are oftentimes the ones that have problems with what people believe in. Because if I'm spiritual and you're religious, I'm not having a problem with your religion. Why do you have a problem with my spirituality? This is because your religion is, has indoctrinated you to believe in something so much to the extent that you are absolute in what you believe in and you don't see any other way. Mind you, religion is just a man-made thing. It's not something that God came down and said, oh yeah, this, I, this is the only way to live. There are many ways to God. Religion is one form. Spirituality is one form. That's why you have denominations, non-denominations. You have the atheists. You have the spiritualists. And as long as each of those paths lead you to source, that's all that matters. But we have people out here that are hypocrites, right? That feel that, oh, you know, I've been a pastor for 10 years, for 40 years, and this is the only way to be. So whatever you believe in is not legitimate. It is a, it's blasphemy for you to be 
saying the things you say let's say on my channel you i'll have religious people that come to watch me and they have a problem with it every time i say something about having a connection to source or being tolerant or everybody else they'll say oh no you're speaking blasphemy christ is the only way there is only one god the true god of heaven and earth whatever that is um but that's not the truth that's not the truth uh, people that are self-aware and actually educated about religion and spirituality and everything else in between they know that that is not the only way to god anyone with two senses will tell you there's not only one path to god okay and as i'm going to use oprah winfrey as an example as much problem as the world has with her and how she does things whatever i don't care about any of that but she said something before that is an eye opener there is not only one way to God. And that's all it is at the end of the day. If you have an individual path that leads you to source, you have found your right calling. If you join a religion and it leads you to source, you found your path, your right calling. So there's no way that there's only one way. There's a reason why we have all of these different denominations, these different belief systems, right? These different uh, 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 teachers and uh, masters from the past, there's a reason why all of them are there. It's because there's not only one way to source. There are many, many ways. You can choose to be non-religious. You could choose to not believe in spirituality. You can choose to be non-denominational. You can choose to be an atheist. But if it makes you happy at the end of the day, if it makes you someone that's helping heal other people in some way, shape, or form, you found your calling. You are connected to source. At the end of the day, it has to do with you being of pure heart and mind, right? Having a balanced mind, having a pure heart, being tolerant of other people's belief systems and things like that. What makes you think that your belief system is the only one that's re that's legit or relevant? It's not. This is why we have like Catholic priests and stuff in church doing stuff to children. So then if people see that, they have a right to say, well, you're telling me this religion is the only way to God. But then you have this priest here that's doing this to children. They can easily use that as a way to say, well, your religion is barbaric. If the leader of a church would do something like that, I don't want to be a part of it, right? So there's there's flaws, there's ups and downs, pros and cons to everything you join in. But it has to do with your mindset at the end of the day, how much you're willing to indulge in that, what you're willing to accept, right? Nothing should be absolute in life. Absolutely nothing. Not your religious belief system. Nothing. Nothing is absolute, not even the life that you're living, the reality that you're in, it is not absolute. You're in a dream. This is a dream. The dreamer is dreaming the dream. You are a dreamer yourself. You are in someone else's dream. People don't understand that, but because, and that's because they are, they have chosen to limit their mindsets. Oh, I'm Catholic. That's all there is. You know, I'm Lutheran. He said, why do you have all these denominations just to worship the same person if that's the only God? Why are there so many, so many different denominations to worship the same God? Why? Shouldn't it be if it's the same God with the same belief system and he support, he or she supports everything you're doing, wouldn't you just have one Catholic church? Wouldn't you just have one Catholic religion, one Christian religion? Why are there so many different religions? Just to worship the one, just uh, the same deity over and over. It doesn't add up, does it? But because people are grown and, and they grow up being thought <clears throat> these indoctrinations, say so your mom took your, your let's, let's take it back. Your great grandparents took, their children to church they took their children to church they took their children to church your parents came and they took you to church as well you didn't choose to go to church they just told you this is us this is what we're doing we're going to church on sunday bible study on friday right and you kept repeating that cycle repeating that cycle repeating the cycle and because you grew up in that setting what did you do you more than likely 
told your children, we're going to church on Sunday. So every Sunday you got up, got dressed, got your children's dressed, make sure they ate breakfast, took them to church. They didn't understand a goddamn thing they were listening to in their church. But you told them you were Christian, so they were Christian. So they believed the same thing. Now you believe that so much when someone comes around and said they don't believe in what you believe in, you're offended. Because your whatever you are studying or believing in has been passed down to you from your generations. So you think that's the only way. And anytime someone mentions spirituality, you get offended. It does not make sense. There's a reason why there are different continents, different ethnicities, different, back, different backgrounds and cultures, different practices. If you go to every culture in the world, none of them had anything to do with Jesus Christ or one God. Okay? Most, most cultures were not monotheistic till like later on. Okay? Most religion, most not religions, most cultures were not monotheistic. Like if you look at the Indians, the overseas Indians, not the Native American Indians. They have a God for everything. The, the corn God, grass God, the cow God, right? They have Shiva, Shiva, uh, just all kinds of different gods. There's a reason for that. That's the beauty of culture. But you have people like the Romans and the Greeks that felt like they were better than everybody else. And they were on a conquerors to conquer the whole world. And they went and destroyed all of these beautiful cultures because they didn't understand what the heck was going on. So now we have people today with this idiotic mindset that think that Christianity is the only way to be. So they're out here brainwashing people, destroying people people's lives and futures because you don't believe in what they believe in and they don't understand what they believe in they don't understand it i'm telling you they don't understand what they believe in they're trapped in their own minds they don't really they don't understand why they're not fruitful in life it's because you're trapped you've been programmed you've been programmed to trust an outside source to give you what you want god is not outside of you you don't have to go to a building every Sunday to worship God. You are a you are a specimen of God. You come from God, so you are God. Right? You come from God. You separated from God. Imagine a big beam of light. And you separate from that light. You are still the light. You're just separate from the light. This is all it is. But at the end of the day, we're all going through an experience, right? Because that's why we come here to experience creation. And as we're experiencing it, it's being recorded and sent back to source, the creator of all that is, okay? But people get in this mindset, this unhealthy mindset where they think, oh, we've been studying this for umpteen years. This is all there is. No, it's not. No, it's not. This is a rule awakening for someone. No, it's not. The fact that religion is coming out tells me that someone behind the scenes or a group of people behind the scenes are attacking someone or other people because of their belief system. They believe in life, re death, rebirth, and life. The cycle of creation, the cycle of incarnation. They have a problem with people believing in that, not knowing that they're the ones with the problem. Okay? So someone thought they were going to come in and cause you some type of ending because they don't like your belief system. They think you're mentally retarded or something. Let alone, these people don't understand they're the ones with the problems. Most of them, they practice Christianity, but these are the same people that will leave church on Sunday and then go and destroy someone's future, someone's income, destroy someone's livelihood, gossip, sleep around. You got to choose a struggle and stick to it. Are you religious or are you not religious? Do you obey your religion or do you not obey it? Because last time I checked your 10 commandments, uh-huh, it said that should not steal, that should not commit adultery. Thou shall not fornicate, right? It has all those thou shall not, thou shall not. 
but they will choose which one they're going to follow and then disregard the rest. Oh, you know, I only stole and he killed, so he's worse than me. I thought your Bible said no, no sin is greater than the other. Aren't they all the same? They're equally wicked and malicious. Isn't that what the Bible said? No sin is greater than the other sin. So how then? Who the heck do you think you are? What gives you the jurisdiction to come out and judge someone else because they don't believe in what you believe in? I know your Bible said there is no other God. There's only one true God, right? So you consider someone believing in spirituality as a disobedience to your God. But then you're out here stealing, lying, killing, fornicating, committing adultery. Make it make sense. It won't. And if you if you manage to make sense out of it, that means you're a hypocrite because it doesn't. It does not make any sense. Someone out here or a group of people out here has a problem with someone's belief system. This is why they're attacking you. A lot of people in the spiritual community, especially tarot readers, they're experiencing problems with their platforms because you have hypocrites behind the scenes that are attacking them because of what they believe in. It's not just one, two, three tarot readers that are going through this or definition, uh, definition practitioners that are going through this. It's a community of people going through this experience all because of people that have a clouded judgment unhealthy habits toxic so they're destroying platforms causing stagnation they don't want platforms growing and things like that but they'll fix their mouth to say that someone is retarded i can't believe she believes in divination i can't believe she believes in astrology or he or whoever and it's like you can't believe they do all of that and we can not believe the things you do with the amount of times you've read your bible how many times your bible has been read to you why is your religion causing so much havoc to the rest of the world? It's because you, it's mild practice. You're not practicing it the right way. I thought we were all God's children. Shouldn't we all be equal in the eyes of God? Right? Okay. Let's get back into this reading. There's absolutely a reason why this Ten of Swords is here. This is usually, usually when someone takes ill advice from a false priest, a false religious character, a false friend, someone that pretends to be a higher fan, but they're not a higher fan. They're a false higher fan. They're devious. They're dark. They're demonic. They will ill advise you so you can take the wrong path. So you can take the wrong path. And when you take that wrong path, you're thinking you're stepping out on faith, doing the wrong thing. You land here. So someone is getting a test of their own medicine because they listened to the wrong person. They were deceived. And now they're having to learn some type of lesson the hard way. And they're going through betrayal, heartbreak, fighting with a group of people, a family. There's some type of uh, uh, fighting going on among a, amongst a group of people because something is not going the way they thought it would. I'm telling you, they are fighting behind the scenes. I will tell you a joke, but I will not tell you a lie. They are fighting behind the scenes. They want to, yeah, going through endings. Going through endings. I will tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a freaking lie. People were supposed to see things from a different perspective. This is that you're part of a group of toxic people. And you are constantly coming after someone. And they're not doing anything to you. But you keep coming after them. And time and time again, there's a, there's a voice in your ear telling you, stop that. You may even come across someone that's telling you, y'all yeah, shouldn't be doing that. Leave that person alone. But your ego has grown so big, right? You feel like you are the king of the world, the queen of the world. You can do whatever you want. Someone's light bothers the demon within you. So you keep going and going and going. And you keep coming after that person, right? Maybe initially you all started off as friends, this whole group. Started off as friends, cordial with one another. Now it's all toxic and karmic. People betraying each other, fighting with one another because you can't block someone's destiny. And I will say it time and time again on this channel. There is a reason why it's called destiny. It is set in stone to happen. So it does not matter what you do to block it, you cannot. If you can block destiny, then that means that you're more powerful than God. You're more powerful than the angels 
angels, right? And nobody is. I'm telling you, they're heartbroken because you're still receiving this new beginning. Just as I said, just as I said, no one can block destiny. That's not how it works. That is not how it works. What someone is doing or a group of people are doing, this is what it is likened to. And this is this is the analogy I am being given. You, the star C, the light worker, empress, emperor, whoever you are, you've put in all this work. Imagine working at a company. You come in every day, you put in all this work. You are a spectacular person, okay? Ideal employee. You show up to work, you put in your effort, you do what you're supposed to do, no complaints, not causing people any problems, right? And when it's time to get paid, they say, oh, well, we're not able to pay you today. We'll pay you next week. And you try to be understanding of the situation. Mind you, of course, you have bills to pay. Legally, that's not something that should be happening. But you try to be understanding of the situation. So you wait till next week. They come again and give you more excuses. Oh, you know, we don't have it right now to pay you. No, that's not how that works. People work, you pay them. People work, you pay them. People work, you pay them. So now let's add the spiritual aspect to it. You're uh, a, a temperance energy or a star seed. You've been incarnating lifetime after lifetime, right? Ascending, learning the lessons you're meant to, let, to learn, working off your karma, paying up off your debt to the other beings that you are incarnating with, right? And you're sticking to your path, doing what you're supposed to, everything you agree to in your contract, you are fulfilling, right? And now the universe decides, we're going to reward you for all of your efforts. You're, you've, you've done a marvelous job, okay? Right when the universe is about to bless you, uh, pay you, right? Compensate you. You have someone that comes in and decide, oh, no, they can't have that. They don't deserve it because they don't want you moving forward. They want you to stay trapped so they can destroy your future, destroy your life. And as soon as this person interjects, the universe is looking like, who the, who, who is this? And why, who the heck told you you have authority to decide what anyone can have? Did I tell you you had the authority to do that? No. Okay, then. Now they've pissed off the universe. They've pissed off a whole lineage of ancestors. This They have pissed off a whole angel, a, a tribe of angels because of what they did. So now not only is this person going through an ending or this couple going through an ending, filing bankruptcy, going through a divorce, experiencing endings they never thought they would they will be able to experience everybody else that got involved is going through the same thing. The last thing you ever want to do is piss off God. The last thing you ever want to do is piss off God. Someone has pissed God off and they don't even know it. They don't know it. That's the sad part. And they're still walking around thinking that everything is okay. It's not okay. Or pretending like everything is okay, things are going to get better, it's going to blow over. It's not going to blow over. You, you all are going to be held accountable for what you did. Every little thing you did, you're going to be held accountable for it. So you can pretend all you want that you're still rich. Someone is out here pretending to be rich. They're not. People know the truth. You're not rich. You're, you're trapped in an unhealth. I'm telling you. Someone pissed off the host of heavens. The spirit realm? Oh, honey. Someone has managed to piss off God, the angels, because someone didn't know when to stop. There's a level to certain things. You decide you don't want someone doing something that wish you don't even have a place to do that. You decide, oh, I don't want them doing that. They, should, they don't deserve that chair. They don't know what they're talking about. They're, they're retarded, they're mentally unstable, they're emotionally unstable, this is someone unhinged. You can say all that all you want, but there's a limit to how far you should go. And someone or a couple in here or a group of people, they don't have a limit. And so source does not have a limit on how he or she, it is going to sit them down. Someone is losing everything behind the scenes. Losing everything. And this is judgment that was called before this situation even took place because obviously... 
source angels the host of the spirit realm already know how knew how far this person was going to go so someone is losing everything literally something whatever someone intended for you to experience is what they are going through so if they wanted you to not have love they're losing that someone is going through a divorce they didn't want you to have any new beginnings they're going through an ending right they didn't want you having financial security they're going through that as well. No financial security. They wanted to be secure in their work. They're losing a position. Someone is no longer secure. All they have is burdens and toxicity, addictive uh, uh, behaviors and activities they don't know how to let go of. So someone is about to be out here between a rock and a high, hard place. And while they're going through that, you're ascending because you what? fulfill your contract they didn't do the calculations right someone miscalculated they thought if they isolated you from everyone cause people to turn their backs on you right lie to people set something up in a way where it looked like it was true but it wasn't and no one thought hey let me go ask this star see if this really happened no one did that they just jumped they just uh, jumped on the bandwagon. Oh, yeah, let's go destroy this person. And now they're going through endings that they don't even know how to handle. Some of the things these people are going through, they've never experienced before. It's, they don't even think it's possible. It should not be happening. How is this happening? Someone in here is experiencing something supernatural, and they can't even tell people about it because they feel like if they voice it, they're going to look stupid. They're going to look retarded. People may think that they need to be in uh, a, a mental house. Okay? That's how bad it has gotten. So they're just keeping their head down and keep on pushing on. This is all they can do. Someone here may be having some type of surgery that's going on. May not be able to even pay for the hospital bills. Someone is going, honey, these people are going through a lot behind the scenes. A whole lot. A whole lot. Everything they've been doing, you've been finding the strength to keep pushing forward. I'm telling you. And something is being spoken that someone did not want being spoken. There's some type of information being exposed about a toxic group, person, couple. They didn't want this out. How they've been stalking someone. I'm telling you. <laughs> they've been stalking someone. Doing things behind the scenes to block someone's forward movement, growth, causing stagnations and stuff in your life. It's all being exposed. It's all being exposed. And because they don't want you moving forward, they've been doing all kinds of malicious things. And this is because someone is mentally unstable. Someone is just plain, wicked, and unhealed, unhealthy, immature. Someone could have some type of issue with their instrument size and because they feel insecure about it, this is why they attack other people. Someone is insecure. And insecure is a lack of a state. It's, it's a lack of emphasis on how insecure this person is. Insecure. They don't want you, you know, elevating or receiving any type of promotion and things like that in life. And that's exactly what's going to happen. You're supposed to have a brand new start. They come in and they destroy it. You're supposed to have a brand new start. They come in and they destroy it. And Source has gotten fed up. Is that this person is moving forward. I told them to stay, their mind, keep their mind focused on positive things. And that's exactly what they did. They're still being elevated. But someone is about to be down and out. They may even come to you crying. I said down and out and the four of Source came out. Someone may be passing away. Then someone may even come to you, collective, crying, begging on their knees for forgiveness because of something they did. Don't let anyone in your energy. Ask Source to block these people out of your energy. They don't deserve to be around you. I'm telling you, make sure you don't let them in your energy. Okay? Things are being balanced out. You're still going to have victory over your enemies. People, it's like something about keeping someone stuck just keeps coming up because I see this ten of pentacles in the reverse and this four of, four of pentacles. This had to do with keeping someone stuck in some type of position where they're not able to elevate. Uh huh. 
not able to move forward, nothing. But this is what these people are going through. And they know you're still receiving some type of elevation, promotion, whatever this is. And don't let anyone come into your energy to gaslight you. You don't have anything, any scores to settle with these people. You don't have any closure you need to have with these people. Let them carry on. Tell them you forgive them from a distance. You don't have any ill, in, uh, Ill intent or uh, uh, bad wishes for them. Just tell them to move on. Wish them well from afar. Move on with your life. Tell them to move on with your life. But these people have a hard time moving on. It's like they're angry because they know what are they trying to do to you. And at the end of the, the day, you're still moving forward and they're unhappy because you're still receiving what's yours. And this family here, they're having to sit back and, uh, uh, what is it? Think, think about why things are happening to them. Why are they fighting amongst each other? That's because of the energy they came after, what they tried to do to someone else what they tried to do. And so if someone tried to get you to be homeless, guess what? That's what they're going to listen. <laughs> Ooh. I said homeless and the freaking five of pentacles comes out. If someone was trying to get you to be homeless, that's what they're about to go through. That's what they're about to go through. Oh my gosh, it came out. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. And this is divine intervention. Divine intervention. It says like someone had a plot, had a plan. They were going to come in and do something. You're going to end up homeless. And your angel stepped in and said, I don't think so. This is not part of this person's contract. They're like, do we need to review the contract? I'm pretty sure we know the contract by heart, by mind. Like, I can see the contract and I've scanned it with my eyes. I don't see anything on here about homelessness. I don't see anything on here about imprisonment. I don't see none of that. So who, what is going on here? Your angels interjected on your behalf. You are experiencing some type of miracle. But if you understood what people were trying to do to you behind the scenes, you will be on your knees thanking your angels, your ancestors and source. People wanted you flat out so that they could be able to see you out in the street, homeless and things, and sit and be able to drive by, wave at you, not offering you any help, laughing while they're driving up. This is what people wanted to do. They were trying to humble you but you're not meant to be in that energy because of the forces that you have behind you. You could even have people that were plotting to have you homeless so your children could be taken away from you. I said, well, Miss, Miss Jean, you're not able to provide a sturdy living place for your children, so we're going to have to have to take the children from you. This is what they were pointing, just wickedness, maliciousness. There are people that feel that you are better than them, but they don't want you to feel like you are better than them. So they're trying to humble you by taking everything from you, but they can't take anything from you. These are people that have a hard time manifesting, but they can't. As you can see here, someone wanted to manifest some type of new, new toxic, toxic cycle for you. They could not. Your angels interjected. They intervene on your behalf. They say, nah, this person has done too much work. We're too proud of this person. Someone committed to their growth and healing and they actually did it. Meanwhile, you are out here being toxic and leading people astray. And you think you're going to have your way? No. And someone in here is trying to manifest a new beginning for themselves. But all that keeps coming up is woes, sorrows. They can't get assistance from anyone. Right? They're, they're not able to get assistance from anyone. And I'm telling you, your angels interceded on your behalf. It's like they're fighting on your behalf. This will be like your ancestors telling you, hey, you just sit there and keep your minds on positive thoughts. We'll take care of these people. This is literally what's going on. It's like, we'll take care of it. You focus on your elevation, healing. That's what we wanted you to do this lifetime. And you've been doing that. So just focus on that. We'll handle these uh, rug rats, these rascals, these hooligans. We'll, we'll handle them. And that's what they're doing. And someone is delusional enough to believe that they're actually coming up against a human. No, 
you're fighting against an angel. Someone may be even going up against God. That's why this angel is out here. You are, you all are going up against an angel or God itself. And that's why your lives are upside down. That's why your lives are upside down. You will never have victory over these, these star seeds that you're coming after. I'm telling you. This, this came out like this. So it could go either way. And I'm going to put it in the reverse. Whatever someone thought they were going to be receiving, they're not receiving it. This People don't want to work with someone anymore. And I don't think they understand that. This is like you're trying to distance yourself from someone. You see them coming to your direction. You take another path. And somehow they see you and then they try to follow you that way. And then you change your direction again. And they're still coming. But you don't want to be in the same environment with this person. Because you know they're karmic as hell. Heck. Devious as heck. Someone, There's someone behind the scenes. People are distancing themselves from this person. They don't want any more problems. Someone is being told you brought us a lot of problems. You've brought a lot of problems to us. There's a whole group that's being dismantled. Okay? Whoever this narcissist is, they're possibly even exhausted. They are exhausted. They're tired. Someone may be even hiding, not wanting to come out. They thought you would be down and out, hiding, not wanting to come out, but you're out here bold, having new experiences, going to where you want to go. You're not worried about, you know, what's going on behind the scenes, what people are doing, because you already know what's backing you up. And these are the same people that will come and stalk you, whether at work, school, whatever, on your platforms, to see what you're doing, to see if you're still putting out content, you're still showing up to work, you're still... And they said, yep, <laughs> they surely are. They are disciplined. They're still moving forward. You told us this person was not disciplined. You lied to us. You told us this person was not sincere. You lied to us, okay? I'm telling you, you told us this person was not a healer, and here they are showing up in healing energy every time we come for them. Every time we go to get a reading, this is the energy they're showing up in, the star. Six of Cups energy, genuine friendship, genuine extension of olive branches and things like that. Someone with no ulterior motive. You lied to us. There's a masculine or feminine behind the scenes that's getting chewed out and people are distancing themselves from this person. They said, we don't want to collaborate with you anymore. We don't, yeah, some, I'm telling you, they don't want to collaborate with this person anymore. There could be a mother figure behind the scenes as well that's being exposed or a wife character being exposed. Nobody wants to work with her. Nobody wants to work with this woman. And there's a king of wands behind the scenes that's angry because he's losing, he's lost a lot, he's not receiving something. I'm telling you, this man is angry, stuck in his mind. Someone could be facing legal issues and things like that. It's that you lied to us. You had us coming after the wrong person. I don't know if someone thought if they had a woman pretending to be an empress long enough, she would be receiving something. Yeah, they didn't see things clearly. Whoever the true empress is, is still having a new beginning. There's clarity, clarity. There is clarity about something that took place in the past. Something that has been done that cannot be undone. So there are ramifications for everyone in the situation. This is like someone stepping in or a group of people stepping in to block your, I don't know, promotion, love offer, whatever this is. And it's something that cannot be undone. So everyone is going through endings so they can understand that there are consequences for everything you do in life. You don't just get to screw someone over and then move on with your life, blase, blase, and think it's just okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. You see the death down here? Exactly. You don't just get to screw people over and then go on about your life and pretend like you didn't do anything. You didn't have any involvement in it. That's not how it works. 
whoever i'm telling you i just i literally i split the deck and this car the judgment car i saw the judgment car yeah yeah judgment has been called i don't care how long you pretend the person you're coming after may not see everything but you trust best believe the universe sees everything and you are being held accountable for everything you will have to learn and grow through this experience just like that person had to learn and grow through that experience as well and i split it again and the judgment card came out all all debts will be paid every single debt will be paid okay every single debt will be paid no one is going on skates i'm telling you all debts will be paid Balance justice is coming into the situation. There is clarity now. Everything is out in the open. <laughs> Two, I'm telling you. Death is being paid. There could be an uh, emperor in here trying to balance something out or a king of cups is trying to work with an emperor to emperor to balance things out because these people are like things are just going too haywire here my cat died last week i ended up in a car accident this week my house is out for foreclosure my baby is sick da -da 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 -da. yeah yeah and it's gonna keep going that way until you all fix it and source wants you to know collective you are protected you are protected you have a whole team of angels protecting you right now you're protected out of through all of it all someone here has i don't know if they think you and them have some type of soul contract and they don't like your belief system you're a spiritualist, you believe in tarot, and his or her friends has a problem with that. So they take turns, I don't know, bullying you or bothering you, trying to excommunicate you, make you feel isolated and rejected, and you don't care. You're like, I don't know you heifers from Adam. I don't give a crap what you heifers think of me. Someone here don't care. There's a tarot reader that does not care. Because they already know whoever this is that think that they are twins, twin flames, soul twins, they're not. Someone is under some type of delusion that a feminine energy is his soul twin, but the man is so toxic, he's not. This is just someone that's lusting after a feminine energy. The actual soul meant for this terror reader is someone that's healed. This is not someone that's sitting behind the scenes trying to destroy his soul twins path, career, opportunities, and things like that. Because that's not how higher level soul mates move. That's little boy stuff. So there's some karmic masculine with a group of friends or karmic feminine with a group of friends or something. It's a masculine. I'm trying to sound general, but it's a masculine. He and his toxic friends behind the scenes are coming after a tarot reader because someone believes in divination, someone believes in astrology, someone believes in a lot of different things that they don't have a clue about. They're naturally dark and wicked. And because you believe in the things you believe, they have a problem with that. So they're taking action to destroy you from behind the scenes because they don't want this masculine to be with someone that believes in the things you believe in. Meanwhile, you don't have a contract with this person as far as a solid relationship coming into fruition. You two will never be in a relationship. Never. You will never be in a relationship with this person because you two are of the opposite in the worst way possible. If this was someone that was willing to heal, actually put in the work to heal, then that would make a difference. This is not someone that even has two senses screwed in tight. But they're pissed off because you are a spiritualist. You believe in terror. How dare you believe in terror? You're mentally retarded. So they sit behind the scenes laughing when they're doing these little immature boy things. And they consider you to be the immature one, the incompetent one, not realizing everything they're doing is exactly what incompetence is. 
oh, we're going to mess with their platform, their work and things like that. We're going to make sure you don't succeed in this. And it's like, uh, watch and see what the universe does. How you are about to be humble. Because whoever this is, is going to be celebrating. Three, three, six. Six has to do with healing. Someone needs to heal, but they don't want to. And whoever you're coming after is going to be moving forward. Okay? Okay. And you all can keep fighting amongst yourself. Fighting amongst yourself, but you're not going to be stopping someone. Okay? Because the source has already made judgment. Someone is meant to celebrate. Everything they've done, the efforts they've put in. Uh-huh. They're going to be celebrating. And you always have to explain yourself to your children when some of you are being locked up. Why you're going to jail? Oh, it's because I didn't want someone to succeed as a tarot reader or as a content creator. So I went and, you know, invaded their privacy and destroyed their platform and things like that. You want to tell me you're, you are doing stupid stuff like that, not caring about being in your child's life, your freedom. You don't care about your freedom. You don't care about your children, your family, your marriages and relationships. You don't care about yourself. All you care about is destroying someone else. And you think you're just you're just gonna get away with it. Something I was just fed is that you may do something to a star energy or an empress energy and not get caught for that. But the universe will step in and make sure that something else you did that you forgot about, you'll get caught for that. You'll be driving one day, you forget you had a ticket from like 10 years ago. And they'll say, Oh ma'am, hi, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the police officer pulling you over. Yeah, you have a ticket out. It's for 10 years now. You fail to show up to court. And you know you're getting arrested on the spot. Because you've possibly been avoiding the law for so long to the point where you forgot you got comfortable. And just because you came after this person, that's why you're getting cut for it. Mm-hmm. That's why you're getting cut. Now you're going to jail. Or you could have done something even more heinous. 25 years ago, maybe you committed a murder. And you figure you got away with it. They weren't looking into the case anymore. Lo and behold, they find something. Your DNA pops up. And here they come. Busting your door in. They said, man, that was 25 years ago. That was 40 years ago. You mean they're still looking into this case? Yeah, you dimwit. You took a life. And you thought you were just going to come out here and have a brand new life? No, 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 no. It's exposed. So some of you may not get caught for what you're doing to an Empress energy, but you're going to get caught for something else. And it, you won't be able to get out of it. And that will be justice. So that's how sometimes the universe works. You may not get caught for doing A, but you did B a long time ago, and B is servicing. And you know you can't get out of B because you know you did it. And if the FBI is on at your door, you know very well. <laughs> they have all their ducks lined up. All their eyes and eyes dotted and T's crossed. So some of you, your your little skeletons, those skeletons you have in your closets are about to be coming out. Judgment is final. That's how the universe where you see the six six is popping up. Six six. <laughs> you all should have moved on. We have 15 here, which sums up to six, has to do with healing and moving on, starting over, brand new, which someone will be doing regardless of what everything you've been doing to him or her. Anyways, your love for other is, others is powerful and you are able to spread your gift of support far and wide. Your curious and social nature brings you in contact with a variety of people, all who will benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. I am wise. Another six. Your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am a nurturer. I am nurturing. Uh, 77, which sums down to 14 and 5. Okay. Um, it is time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. Now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. 
I am brave. Collective, you're being told, move on, step out on faith, okay? Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.